should we start with our first story? We'll keep it... Should we keep it rural-related? Yeah, why not? Let's, let's do, I mean, if we can say that anymore, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Harry's Heart of Invictus Games dock <clears throat> drops. OK, the Duke of Sus Sussex's latest project, Heart of Invictus, launched on Netflix this morning at 8 a.m. Mm. Now, I can imagine we are going to see this everywhere. We've got a little look at the trailer. Should we have a look? Yes, why not? Too close to his heart yeah. always. Mm -hmm. And lots of people are saying this is him trying to reposition himself. Is this just not him doing something that he loves? He's always it, had a passion yeah. for. This is his great legacy. This yeah. is his great achievement. Named the Invictus Games, incidentally, after a poem by a poet called Henley, a Victorian poet, Invictus. And it's wonderful. He has served in Afghanistan. He came back from Afghanistan. He himself, as he admits in this film, mm. had a bit of a meltdown afterwards. It yeah. brought mm. back memories of losing his own mother. He realised there was trauma there and thought, let's actually do something about this. People have been physically injured, mentally injured. Let's get them out there doing something. Hence Invictus Games, which is a brilliant achievement. And well done, Prince Harry. It's wonderful it's going on. Absolutely. I think the, the, the point he makes about coming back from Afghanistan and realising, dealing with this, this trauma brought about by the death of his mother, of course, and what he talks about is that he wishes he'd have dealt with that earlier, mm. that it, rather than lying in the fetal position, having a, a unravelling, as he calls it, that maybe he should have got some help beforehand. I think that's absolutely critical. So I think mm. a lot of people have things happen to them in their lives that are incredibly traumatic, find a way of, quotes coping, stiff up a lip and all that stuff. Yeah, I, and actually, that getting some help can be really important for people. And he's, he, every time you hear him speak, he does talk about this fetal position. So I, I, yeah. I'm a believer that he really did have some sort of 100%. episode breakdown, etc. Giles, you're closer than any of us mm -hmm. uh, to Royals. We've got the pictures to prove and it. The cake. Yeah, and, and the cake. cake. <laughs> um, you know, do you do you ever get a sense that they, they that they still do care for him deeply? Of course they do. I mean, you know, it, it's the king's son. He yeah. loves his son, mm -hmm. and I think they totally accept they wanted to start a new life in California. That's fine. But they're thrilled by this. Yeah. This is the real achievement. I mean, you know, the king is so proud of this. I, I know personally that the Duke of Edinburgh, the late Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, his grandfather, thought, yes, yeah. this is what it's all about. Fantastic. And this will go on yeah. forever. So and Critics will say this is their attempt at rebranding and relaunching no. and... But I think you, we, like you said, we've all known for a very long, long time. So yeah, this, this has been, has yeah, been his passion yeah, and, and it comes his focus, around. Yeah, right? absolutely. But I do think they need to, they need to be able to move away from what a lot of people would say is dunking on their own family by spilling secrets yeah. and conversations that mm -hmm, happened at mm -hmm. funerals, which is, you know, I, I don't think that that was a good look to do that. But this sort of shows we're moving past that. Yeah, and this is about other people. Yeah. This is about yeah, other yeah, exactly. soldiers, yeah, men point. and women who yeah. also have Absolutely. been through the trauma exactly and come out the other side That's victorious, right. invictus. It's positive. Yeah. It's exactly. positive. Much like our next story. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well that's, yeah. Um, so, Neighbours, everybody needs good, um, <laughs> has reportedly called in an intimacy coordinator for the first time in the show's 40-year history in preparation for some upcoming steamy scenes. What is that? Now, do you know what an intimacy well, coordinator is? Well, I was going to is? ask. I've never heard of this before. <laughs> this is a well-known thing that's been introduced in the last five years to Hollywood and television, even in the UK. It's what the head of the Spanish Football Association left. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody who well, explains talking. to you how you can do these yes. things in a way that is respectful of the person you're doing it yeah. with. Yeah. And actors have to do these scenes mm -hmm. because we like to see romance and occasionally we like to see steamy romance. Yes. So somebody comes in from outside yes. who actually can tell you, talk you through it, and isn't the director who wants the hot shot, the hot yeah, shot, yeah, yeah. the hot right, shot, okay. but actually can calm things down and say, I shall talk to the actors involved and this is what we'll do, and actually can explain how we can make a thing look more intimate than it actually is. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so it, you're right, it is positive, really, yeah, to yeah, make it is sure that the well-being of everybody's yeah. looked after, and I'm sure this is something that they wish existed yeah. years ago. They've had it in movies for ages. Yeah. yeah. But they're saying that this is Neighbours going to get steamier and raunchier, but I don't think it needs to. Uh -huh. You know, do you remember when Carl had the affair with um, <laughs> yeah. Sophie? Yeah. Yes. You know, who was friends <laughs> with yeah. Susan, do you remember that? Yes. Or Delta Goodrum's... Character, what was her name? I remember um, having Nancy. the hops for Mrs. Mangle. Oh, Mrs. Mangle. Mrs. Mangle. Mrs. Mangle. I mean, oh, we love Mrs. Mangle. But the reason they're doing this is you know they were going to kill neighbours. Yeah. Yes. And then we, we all sat there saying, no, we love neighbours. Yeah. Not having watched it for 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they then revived it, and maybe not enough people are watching, and they yes. think we need to. Oh, they're going to just, we're going to turn it up yeah. a notch. What's it on? It's on Prime, isn't it? Is it on Prime or. It's on one of them. It's been on the back burner oh, in my no, life for Amazon. some years. Amazon. Amazon. Is that is Prime. It's Prime. Yeah. That is Prime. <laughs> is on, I don't know. I'm sure it's great. All right, <laughs> whatever it is. All right, Mrs. Mangle. <laughs> I just got in my ear, Amazon. Yeah. 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 So you said it. 
Amazon, <laughs> and it's good. called Amazon Prime. Um, right, so it is on there. Look, from uh, the 18th of September. Yes, lovely. Will you stay with us, you two? Please. Yeah, like You'll get. Yeah.